Hi everyone, it's Joanne. Welcome to Pink Fresh Fridays, where we celebrate our love for Pink, Pink Fresh Studio products. And I have the cutest little photos today of my granddaughter. She's going to be one soon. These are her nine month old pictures. And I'm going to put them up here somewhere. And this is not Pink Fresh Studio. I backed it with some paper, but it's actually a die cut. And it's from the Hip Kit Club. And we are allowed to bring in like cut files and some other things outside of Pink Fresh Studio. So I've had this forever using up some of my stash. I just thought that just imagine what's super cute with this. And this is going to be fun and quick and simple. She's facing forward in both of the photos, so I really don't think that it matters which side I put the photos on. And I love this green pocket journaling card because it's exactly the same green as that. I'm just going to do some layering here. And I am using the Happy Blooms collection, which is some one of my very favorites that they ever made. It's so, so pretty. Um, okay, and I'm just going to do a lot of layering and using up my stash on this. And I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. My neighbor is mowing his lawn. And I'm not going to ask him to stop. <laughs> Joke. I never would anyways. All right, I'm going to put that behind there, and then I'm going to cut the bottom of it off. And I think that I'm going to try to find some twine or something to put in that. I'm not sure exactly what yet. And then I also thought, let's bring in this floral because, yeah, super pretty. Um, maybe I'll go like this with the photos something like that so I like the placement on that so instead of fussing like I always do let's just go ahead and put it in there like this maybe let me see yeah good just a little bit of fussing I'm just gonna put some glue in between the papers that I backed it with and the floral and not adhere it to the background yet because I want to make sure I get the placement of everything first because I don't want to cut this. I did back this with some foam and I took the back off the foam just on the top because I might tuck some stuff into this. But I figured save some time. I'd do that ahead of time. Another journaling card. I literally just want it for the color and this notebook punch on the side. So how cute is that? So I have so much of this collection. I absolutely loved it and I just felt the need to buy everything so I did all right so let's put that on there also the die cuts had this which I think is super cute it's just two little hearts and I backed it with um, really pretty pink and white floral paper from the collection and then I'm thinking about tucking that in here but I'm not sure how and then I picked out a bunch of flowers over here to the side. I'm thinking, let's get a floral in here. Like this. Yeah, that's, oh, maybe I can put it in between the two layers of paper. Let me see if I can get that in there without torturing my pattern paper too awful much. That seems good, and hopefully the ATG from behind the pattern paper will keep that where I need it to be. And then I'm thinking maybe this should come down and touch that there so there's not like an odd space, maybe? I just really want to use this stuff up. Hmm. How's that look? Cute but a little too tilted for my liking. So I could just put something there. All right, let's put some glue on this, like this, and just put the photo on it where I think it would look cute. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully that stays. So it's just taking up too much space, I think. Okay, I don't mind that. And it just extends that a little bit more. So let's go in and put some glue in there, which is not working. So let me pick this up. Go like this this get it where I want it I wonder if I should put it up top like that that might be cute okay there we go please stay because that's where I want it and I'll glue everything down really good afterwards okay and I had this thing too it's like um banner Wondering if I can get this down in here somewhere. I don't know. Just to add some more color. That'd be cute. Hmm. I know what I'll do. I will straighten out the end of this. And then adhere it down. So let's put just a little glue here because I want a lot of it to be showing. It's a little glue like that. And then tweezers will be good. Like this. I'll pick this whole thing up. I tend to be able to get things down straighter if I make them crooked or turn them to the side. Okay. That seems pretty straight. And now I've got another little touch of purple in there. I'm not convinced about this yet. But I'm pretty sure I want to use it somehow. I just guess I feel bad covering up so much of it. That's okay. It's not too bad right there. And then maybe I could get one of these up there. I don't know. Well, that doesn't look too bad. What if I did a different color though because we have so much purple already? I think that's better. I wish that it was curved the other way, but it's not. So we're gonna have to work with it the way it is. Put this under here. I just want a little bit. Just to make that a little bit bigger, I think. A little dollop of glue in there. Okay, I've got three more. Perhaps I can get them in where the title is. So I'm going to glue this down. Let's get some florals in this title. How about like that then maybe one here let's see does that look good I don't dislike it let's try like that okay that is really cute I like that so I get one in here like that. Hmm. That's not too bad. I was thinking. Um, of outlining this in purple. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see it. Or if it'll be worthwhile. But maybe... I'm just going to go really slow, especially around the corner curves. Let me see, does that stand out a little bit better? It really does. It's hard to see because I put the foam, but let me see. So I think I'm going to do that. Let me finish that all around, and then we can tuck stuff in there. Okay. I looked at the sticker book super quick and I didn't find anything that I liked in there except for this one little sticker 
and I'm not sure where I want to put it. I was thinking there, but now I'm thinking, let's just tuck it in here like this. Only because it's a cute sentiment and I like the colors. And that's all I found. Let me see. This is cute. I might be able to get that right there just for something. I'm going to hover and see if I like it. Why not? Sometimes I like putting things right on my photos. And then maybe, just maybe, we can get a little floral cluster in here. I don't know. These are kind of big though. I was thinking something tiny, but nah. I like this. This is cute. Let me see. A little puffy right there. Why not? Yeah, that's too big. So I'm not going to use that. And I wonder if we can get one more coming out like this. Or that would not look good and I did put a foam square underneath this so I'm gonna try to lift that see if I can get that in there that might not look too bad and then what about this pink one I just want to use my stuff up you know okay I like that better bring in some pink there Good. All these colors are so, so pretty. I love it. Now, let me see if I want to do a butterfly trail. This is my stencil book. It's just uh, Simple Stories um, 6 by 8 album. And this is a Bramble Fox butterfly trail stencil. Now I'm thinking maybe I should get that same purple pen out. But I think I put it away on accident. Here it is. And let's see if I can get this to work. I'll just put one like this I'll show you and then I'll do the rest off camera so you just go in I go across it two three times just to make sure it's going to show up and that I got inside the stencil really well and this again is from Bramble Fox I will link it below and then I'm gonna need to hand draw that last one make it come right off the page yeah that's cute okay I have the butterfly trails all drawn in it's a little teeny one I'm not too sure about this but it's gonna stay there for now and I tried to draw around it with a purple pen and I didn't do a good job so I might change that out I'm not sure it's okay I guess it is what it is I like the sentiment on it so I'm gonna bring this in for you close sorry about that glare so you can see so try, try that twine twirling tongue twister someday and see if you like it on your layout. You can just check it out first and then don't glue it down unless you like it. And there's that and these and there is this super pretty happy blooms collection. I love it. Okay guys, I'm going to put close-ups at the end and in the description box below are links to my friends who are also joining with pink fresh fridays this month i hope you check everyone out and enjoy your holiday weekend happy memorial day to everybody and see you in the next video bye